Alright, this is just for practical reasons. In theory, I shouldn't have to buy anything ever again. Uh, that's awkward. What did I just do? Where, where am I? Did I ever, was I ever here? Oh, okay, it's just this turn style. Got it. I, I've never been up here. Wonderful place. This is where the old man goes, like where it says, go in the next room. Le it would lead here if you go to the right. Oh, I might have to destroy this and maybe something can happen. Appear on this side of the room, please. Thank you. No, that's just gonna teleport you. Yeah, okay, but I might want to go up here and into that column. So going straight up here would lead into that room. And, uh... Yeah, this is an invitation to blow something up or walk through a wall. So we'll take it. Bombs are getting kinda low again. Nothing, really? What if I do that, huh? Huh. I am shocked and surprised. Yeah, wait a second, yeah, here there's a corridor. Okay, 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 right, 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 I remember this now. So, in theory, I should be able to make it through the wall from here. Like, otherwise that just doesn't make any sense. I just never try. Oh, I probably just tried to bomb, but I didn't try to walk because it's just a very good gameplay concept. Okay, yeah, I've never been in this room. Immediately, I, I, I recognize this floor pattern, but thank you for the bomb. But not in this dungeon. Alright, okay. Right, so I don't know what I want to do here. Let's look around. So there is a down. I have went to the room below. Wait, and this does not open at all? Let's try again. Maybe I just wasn't centered. Okay, is there an up? Is there a bombable up? There is. I prefer taking that, because down is a place I've already been to. And uh, I'm feeling untrusting of the universe right now. I don't know if it's just me. Alright, do you have the map, Patra? I've heard you have- Yeah, you have the map! Yeah, it's the weird squishy alien zone! Ooh, can I get the eyeball here? No. You fool. Uh, but I can go in the room here. And there's also an up I've never been to. Let's go into the dead end here. Why not? Ah, it closed behind me. That was maybe a mistake. Maybe. Let's find out together. I mean, the road here isn't too bad, and I got some bombs back, so like, really, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, nothing here. If I do that... Oh, you're not allowed to unlock your way back, and that's gonna lead to the turnstiles. Okay. Yeah, okay. Got it! So we're gonna go into the Radish Monster's cheek, then. You know what? This is actually a handy way to go back to the start, which is exactly what I want to do. Joke on you! Your trap is actually kind of relevant. Kind of nice. If you go down from the eyeball of the Radish Alien, you can claim the coin here. Whoa! Alright, so I blow a hole in the wall, which lets me into the squishy looking cheeks. Alright, uh... Kind of a... Oddly basic... No! I lost my big shield. 
And I can attack. Okay, all right. That just makes things fun. I have now lost a fear. Wait, what's why? Okay, I want to go down. Yeah. Don't even need a bomb. Just go down to this room. So I cannot block their magic anymore. This is a big change. So, you know, well, I guess I'm getting cursed here. Alright, it's fine. Get magic. Cool. Like, I'm still- I still have the defensive strength of- Yeah! Of the red ring. I still have the might of the magic sword. And here we're going for another ride. Alright, where are you sending me? Staircase? Pressing the wrong button somehow? This weird little ear zone. Why am I here? So this is a healing room. I mean, yeah, that's just gonna send me back, right? I feel like I didn't get what I was supposed to get. That's just gonna send me back. Uh. Uh. There could be a further down or an up. No, well, up I've been. Because if I go here, I've been in this room before. It's this room. Did I try to go into eyeball? Oh. <laughs> Dang it, this game. I, I don't hate you, but I have strong opinions at times. Alright, in the eyeball. There's gonna be a single block to push. That's gonna lead to stairs. Alright, unlike Dungeon 1-9, where I feel like I kind of accidentally speedrun, I feel like I've been into every single possible th something in the 2 version, but that's all fine! Alright, let's get out of here. In the eyeball, whoa! And if you bomb down, that's where you get the money, right? I'm gonna get the bat's money, are you kidding me? I want all of the bat's money. Yeah, the bat's money! Oh, here's my shortcut to uh, somewhere. Get the trap down. Well, I need to go back to the start anyways. Oh. Like, I, I will 
right, and then I get here and I'm like, whoa, what? It's Ganon! And it's like, no, yeah, it's Ganon. And I'm like, what? It's Ganon. Oh, yeah, you can clearly hear him. Why did I? I don't know, man. Whoa, you're there. I can see you. You're a weird pig blue. You're like a massive moblin, really. Yeah, it's not like the big shield would matter here because, uh, you can't block boss fire anyways. The old get hit and immediately pause and spam the B button tech. If that's not how you're playing this game, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, I want this ready. Whoa, watch out, I'm throwing sword beams. What? Wait, but because of the red ring, like, you don't even do perceivable damage to me, so... The red ring is very strong. There's a reason it's, like, something you get at the very end of the game. It's probably too effective in terms of defense. So, it is my understanding that Hampton here actually does move around while he's invisible. Uh, so you really do have to hit this tiny little headbox that is smaller than his body. Alright, well there you go. I got the Triforce. Whoa, it's a princess. Check it out. I sliced the fire open. Thanks, Link. You're my hero. Yay. Possessive you're. <laughs> we did it. The world is flashing terribly. Peace has returned. This ends the story! So what do I think about the second quest? I don't know if I like it, but I like what it does. I think it's very interesting to see a Nintendo game going like deep down into hostile game design. And uh... And, and it kind of makes me wish Zelda would do that more. Like, I will never be interested in seriously playing Breath of the Wild, but if you have Breath of the Wild Second Quest Edition, that might get my attention. It's... it's really stupid in part, it's really just like, obnoxious in part, but it makes it so interesting. I think it's totally worth it. And just speaking from my very specific point of view, I think it does make good video, so... This might have been split in two, maybe I'll keep it all as one. I don't know. Press start and then it loads. We did it. Ah, this was a good time. I don't know if Genesis James. I think that was a royal that led me to playing this game. All you know, in combination with my dad. Uh, they got a lot of, uh, you know, they got a lot out of this. They got, they got maybe a lot more than just playing the Zelda. Yeah, you no, know? yeah. Oh, wait, uh, Raokao, I just noticed you didn't tag the video as final. You probably want to change that.